How's it going, guys? Watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 7. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm watching Episode 7 back-to-back with Episode 6. I need to see this trial by combat. <laughs> Let's get into the episode. Made a deal for you. To keep your ungrateful head on your ungrateful neck a little while longer. I'm sorry, what am I grateful for? The opportunity to live and die at the wall as punishment for a crime I did not commit? You threw your life away. You threw it away. It's not a joke. You understand that, don't you? Of course it's a joke. Just not a very funny one. Hmm. I couldn't... I couldn't listen to her. Standing there telling her lies. I couldn't do it. You fell in love with a whore. Yes, I fell in love with a whore. And I was stupid enough to think that she had fallen in love with me. That deal you made. It was everything Father wanted. You do see that. He gets you back as his heir. The future Lord of the Rock. And he ships me off to Castle Black, out of sight at last. All so perfect. It felt good to take that from him. Yeah. He knows I'm innocent, and he's willing to sacrifice me anyway. He's willing to sacrifice any of us. Not you. You're the golden son. You can kill a king, lose a hand. Fuck your own sister, you'll always be the golden son. Careful. <laughs> I'm the last friend you've got. At least I got to tell them what they really are. Yes. Brilliant speech. They'll be talking about it for days to come. I thought you were a realist. Didn't realize you'd die for pride. Don't give up on me just yet. I survived one trial by combat, even though you weren't there to save me. I can't save you this time either. My training has proved that I can't beat a stable boy with my left hand. Where's your sense of adventure? Even if you lose, imagine the look on Counting Father's on face him. when you fall. <laughs> Our family name snuffed out with a single swing of the sword. <laughs> Tis tempting. <laughs> well... Ron fought for me once, he'll do it again. If he wins, I expect I'll be in his debt for the rest of my life. If he wins? Will you find him for me? Who does Cersei plan on naming as a champion? I hope it's Samarin Trant. I'd enjoy watching Braun disembowel the a mountain. pompous child beater. No. Not Samarin. Thank you for riding here so quickly. You seem to be in good form. Who am I fighting? Does it matter? You shouldn't be sitting out here like this. Where else to sit? Tried to walk back to me hut. Had too much. Then I remember they burnt me hut down. Who were they? I stopped asking a while ago. That's not going to get better. Doesn't seem so. Bad way to go. Haven't you had enough? Of what? I know. Time to go. Take matters into my own hands. The thought has occurred to me.
So why go on? Habit. Nothing could be worse than this. Maybe nothing is worse than this. Hmm. Nothing isn't better or worse than anything. Nothing is just nothing. Who are you? My name's Aya. Aya Stark. You her father? Her captor. Bringing her to her arm for ransom. A fair exchange, that is. Could I have a drink? Dying is thirsty work. <sighs> Wish you were wine. So do I. Isn't there a way you could have done it faster? <laughs> Didn't even go very deep. That's where the heart is. <laughs> That's how you kill a man. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? There's a price on your head. The That's that? what the king does when you tell him to fuck off. That guy a fucking... The king's dead. He drank poison Dog? wine at his own wedding. The bounty on you is for killing Lannister soldiers. A hundred silver stakes. And you thought you were going to collect it. Didn't think very hard, did you? You were Yoren's prisoners when he was taking me to the wall. He told me he'd fuck me bloody with a stick. This day's really not working out the way you planned. He on your little list. He can't be. I don't know his name. What's your name? Rouge. Thank you. <laughs> You're learning. I don't think she's ever going to make it across the narrow seat of the, to that one guy that she wants to get to, to learn from him. Maybe uh, the Hound is meant to be her teacher. I don't know. This is no place for wild beasts. <laughs> Lock him away. Or I'll let Hob throw him in tonight's stew. But he didn't expect snow to come back. Come on, ghost. Muncie's army was closing in on Craster's Keep when we left. We saw their campfires from Osric's Hill. They'll reach the wall before the next full moon. Surprised you didn't ride over and say hello. The king beyond the wall is your old friend, isn't he? We need to prepare. We've been preparing. We should seal the tunnel. Seal the tunnel. Plug it with rocks and ice, flood it and let it freeze. And how would we range north? We wouldn't. Cowards! You would cut off our legs, pluck out our eyes, leave us cowering behind the wall hoping for the storm to pass. We can't defend the gate against 100,000 men. This castle has stood for thousands of years. The Night's Watch has defended her for thousands of years. I smell and in all those centuries we have never sealed the tunnel. Have you ever seen a giant, Sir Alistair? I have. The tunnel's gate won't stop them. The bars on those gates are four inches thick, cold rolled steel. And they won't stop them. Remind me which order you belong to, Lord Snow. The stewards. Are the stewards responsible for maintaining the tunnel? No. Who would that be? The builders. Ah, the builders. First builder, Yarwick. Lord Snow here recommends sealing the tunnel. 
leaving us unable to carry out our duties as sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Do you agree with him? No. Given your deep knowledge of the Wildling army, Lord Snow, you and Tarly will take night duties atop the wall until the full moon. <laughs> Moving on. First builder will need a hundred barrels of pitch from the top of the wall. Oh, I do think I'm more killed. My lord. You have new clothes. Do you like them? Eh? Gloves are doeskin. Softer than a virgin's thigh. I sent for you days ago. I've been a bit busy. Doing what? My lonesome bachelor days are over. I'm to wed Lollis Stokeworth. Lollis Stokeworth? She doesn't strike me as your sort of girl. I wouldn't say I have a single sort of girl. She's dim-witted. If I wanted wits, I'd marry you. When my sister arranged this love match, did she mention that Lawless has an older sister? Felice. I, I didn't know about the older sister. Then you understand the rules of inheritance. Felice is 40 in Barrett. She still gets Castle Stokeworth when her father dies. She does. Unless she happens to perish before her father, then Lollis gets the castle. What? Ladies fall from their horses and snap their pretty necks all the time. Wow. You and my sister deserve Everybody has betrayed poor Tyrion. Why did you bother to come here? You once said, if anyone ever asked me to sell you out, you'd double their price. Is it two wives you want all two castles? One of each would do. But. If you want me to kill the mountain for you, it better be a damn big castle. I'm a bit short on costs at the moment, but I can offer you gold in gratitude. I have gold. What can I buy with gratitude? You might be surprised. A Lannister always pays his debts. Your sister's a Lannister too. My wife is heir to Winterfell. If I emerge from this with my head still on my shoulders, I may one day rule the North in her name. I could carve you out a big piece of it. If and may and could. It's bloody cold up north. Lollis is soft and warm and close. If I gave you the choice between fucking Lollis and fighting the mountain, you'd have your britches down and your cock up before I could blink. Does he frighten you so much? I'd be a bloody fool if he didn't frighten me. He's freakish big and freakish strong. Mm. And quicker than you'd expect for a man of that size. Maybe I could take him. Dance around until he's so tired of hacking at me, he dropped his sword. Get him off his feet somehow. But one misstep, and I'm dead. Why should I risk it? Because you're my friend. Got a point. I, I'm your friend. And when have you ever risked your life for me? She came there and uh, I like you. Faced you. Pampered little shit that you are. I told you. I just like myself more. I understand. I'm sorry it has to be this way. Why are you sorry? Because you're an evil bastard with no conscience and no heart? That's what I liked about you in the first place. We had some good days together. Yes, we did. What will you do? I suppose I'll have to kill the mountain myself. Won't that make her a great song? I hope to hear them sing it one day.
How did you get in here? Your door is well guarded, but your window is not. I swam to an island a mile offshore for these. Don't do that again. Never met a woman who didn't like wildflowers. These are my private quarters. If I want you here, I will summon you. Forgive me, my queen. I, I live to serve you. Tell me why you're here. Came to ask a favor. I only have two talents in this world. War and women. You are staying here in Marine to rule. That is a wise decision. I respect it. But here in Marine, I cannot pursue my talents. I've ordered the Second Sons to patrol the streets to stop the revenge killing. You've ordered us to be night. And children. as for women, there are thousands in Marine you can pursue. There's only one. And she does not want me. You swore me your sword. My sword is yours till the day I die. So if I command you to stay in Marine and patrol the streets? I'll stay in Marine and patrol the streets. Send me to kill your enemies. Any enemy, anywhere. Let me do what I do best. Very well. <laughs> Do what you do best. Take off your clothes. Really? No, 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 not that one. You don't even want to touch that one. Next to it. All of those Best. have death in them. And she wants to bring Shireen with us. I think that would be ill-advised. My daughter has heretical tendencies, as you're well aware. I don't know if her doubt is real or is simply meant to spite me, but whichever well, the since case, you're, uh, abusing she should her, stay home. Then she should probably not be with you. I understand how you feel. Hmm. That is impossible. Why? Because you'll be dead. You don't need powders and potions, my queen. You don't need lies. You are strong enough to look into the Lord's light and see his truth for yourself. When we set sail, your daughter must be with us. Jora the Andal. Are you here to see our queen? Awkward. She's in a good mood. <laughs> Very awkward. How could you? Khaleesi. You're here early. Later than some. <laughs> you don't approve. It's not a question of approval, it's a question of trust. You neither approve nor trust. Why would I? The man's a sellsword. Didn't you fight for the Golden Company before pledging your sword to my brother? I did. I trust you. Dario Naharis killed his captains and dumped their heads at your feet when he grew tired of their commands. How could you ever have faith in a man like that? I could never have faith in a man like Dario. That's why I've sent him and the second sons to retake Yunkai. You have? I have. Without you there to rule, Khaleesi, I fear the masters will simply bide their time, wait for the invaders to leave, and reassert control. That is why I've ordered Dario to execute every master in Yonkai. <laughs> the masters tear babies from their mother's arms. They mutilate little boys by the thousands. They train little girls in the art of pleasuring old men. They treat men <coughs> like beasts, as you said yourself. Herding the masters into pens and slaughtering them by the thousands is also treating men like beasts. The slaves you freed, brutality is all they've ever known. 
If you want them to know something else, you'll have to show it to them. Tempting to see your enemies as evil, all of them. But there's good and evil on both sides in every war ever fought. Let the priests yeah, well, you argue can't... over good and evil. Slavery is real. Take forever in the political it, aspects it, of it. And I will end those behind it. I sold men into slavery, Khaleesi. And now, you are helping me show them to freedom. I wouldn't be here to help you if Ned Stark had done to me what you want to do to the masters of Yunkai. The man who came to me the other day about burying his father. His Darzol Lorak. He will accompany the Second Sons and serve as my ambassador to Yunkai. He will tell the masters what has happened in Marim. He will explain the choice they have before them. They can live in my new world, or they can die in their old one. We'll go and catch Dario before he leaves. Tell him I changed my mind. Yes, Khaleesi. No. Tell him you changed my mind. Fucking whore. Sometimes you just gotta be decisive. You're doing it wrong. You need to burn away that horrible bit there. Otherwise, it's gonna get infected and fester. I know you don't like fire, but if you don't do it right... No fire. It'll only take a second. It won't hurt that much. No fire! Shut up about it. Shut up about everything. Thanks to you, I'm a walking bag of silver anywhere the Lannisters hold sway. But there's everywhere between where we are now and where we're going. I'm as stupid as that hog you stuck back in the village. Getting myself cut and stabbed and bitten. No rewards worth this much trouble. We should never lay eyes on you. You say your brother gave you that sword. My brother gave me this. It was just like you said a while back. Press me to the fire like I was a nice, juicy mutton chop. Why? I thought I stole one of his toys. I didn't steal it. I was just playing with it. The pain was bad. The smell was worse. But the worst thing was that it was my brother who did it. My father, who protected him, told everyone my bedding caught fire. You think you're on your own? Let me wash it out and help you sew it up at least. Yeah. You don't get that thing taken care of, you're gonna die. Bit of comfort never hurt anyone. We've been sleeping in ditches the last few weeks. I think we can treat ourselves to a feather bed for the night. And a hot meal not cooked by you. Couldn't agree more, my lady. Just don't start expecting silk underclothes. Not working for your former lord any longer. Yes, my lady. Don't get drunk. No, my lady. Can I get you anything else? Mm -hmm. No, this will do nicely, thank you. Kidney pie is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks. 
Do my best. A good kidney pie is all about the ingredients. Flour, lard, mm. water, eggs, milk. Easy enough. But the meat, peacetime or not, getting your hands on a good bottom round steak and calves kidneys is not easy. I mean, some people set for plain old beef kidneys. <sighs> Got no right to cook anything, then. Oh, and the gravy. Don't get me started on the gravy. Very difficult to get right. See, a lot of people give up on the gravy. You cannot give up on the gravy. No gravy, no pie. Simple as that. It's nice armor. You a knight? No. Oh, so people with armor is usually knights, generally speaking. In King's Landing, though, aren't you? From there myself, originally. Flea boss and born and bred. What brings you to these parts? We're looking for someone. Someone in particular? Maybe they came in here. A lot of people come in here. I mean, just the other day, we had 17 A girl, pie. tall, red hair, very pretty. Her name is Sansa Stark, but she may be using a different name. Starks? What, like, them lot from Winterhill? Winterhill? No, ain't seen anyone like that. Oh, there was all traitors. Don't need no traitors in here. I pledged my life to their mother, Captain Stark. I swore to her I'd bring her daughters home. Sure I can't get you a bit more kidney pie? I thought for sure that he would spill the beans. What? It's nothing, my lady. You wouldn't be screwing your face up like that if it was nothing. <laughs> Don't want to offend my lady, truly, I don't. You're not interesting enough to be offensive. The Lannisters want Lady Sansa. The Lannisters have money. People kill for money. I don't think we should be telling people we're searching for Lady Sansa. True. True that. I want the last Milady. opportunity to... Oh. Can I have a word? What be about? Not kidney pie. You seem like a proper lady. You know, someone who could be trusted. Never met no Sansa Stark. But I know her sister. Arya. No one's seen Arya Stark since her father was beheaded. She's presumed dead. She went when I last spoke to her. When was that? Heading up north for the Night's Watch. She was all dressed up as a boy. Or like your ladyship, only without the armor. Going by the name Ari. So what happened to her? Well, the quick version. The Lannisters took us prisoner. We escaped. And the brother had took us prisoner. They sold me to the innkeep. They were going to sell Arya to her mother at Riverrun, along with another prisoner. Big ugly fellow. Foul mouth and a face like a half-burnt ham. Not friendly. The hound. Yeah, that's the one. Look, if, if you find him. Could you give her this? You should like the last one I gave her, but well, this one turned out better. Um, you were saying? Uh, he has a fair point, but... Her mother's dead, <laughs> grandfather's dead. Walder well, Frey is singing Lord of River Run. Brotherhood isn't going to river on. Well, take her to the Eyrie, my lady. Why the Eyrie? Her aunt, Lysa Arryn, Captain Stark's sister. She's Arya's last living relative. Oh, looks like with they're going to close in on them she a lot quicker the than I thought they would. I figured they'd be searching for a Lord long Therian time. Lord made sure I knew which house married which and who hated who. Sansa could be there too. Aye, my lady, could be. You sure about this? No. I mean, what other leads do you have?
imagined you'd be back at the brothel at this hour. I did spend some time with an absolutely stunning blonde the other day. Mm, do tell. I've got every kind of filth down here except the kind I like. <laughs> Your sister. Oh. Cersei approached me. We spoke a great deal about her daughter. How worried your sister is about her. She was trying very hard to pretend she had not come to sway me against you. I think she may have even believed it herself. Making honest feelings do dishonest work is one of her many gifts. It was difficult for her to hide her true intentions. It is rare to meet a Lannister who shares my enthusiasm for dead Lannisters. <laughs> she desperately wants to see you killed. She didn't need to bother you. It looks as though I've taken care of that myself. The joy she will feel when my head leaves my neck. She's wanted this for a long time. Yes, I know. We met, you and I, many years ago. I think I would have remembered that. Unlikely, you had just been born. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. My first time away from Dorne. I didn't like anything about the rock. <laughs> not the food, not the weather, not your accents, nothing. <sighs> but the biggest disappointment, you. You and my family have more in common than you might admit. The whole way from Dorne, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. Oh, damn. A head twice the size of his body, a tail between his legs, claws, one red eye, the privates of both a girl and a boy. That would have made things so much easier. When we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. Every day we would ask, every day she would say, soon. Then she and your brother took us to your nursery and she unveiled the free. Your head was a bit large, your arms and legs were a bit small, but no claw. No red eye, no tail between your legs, just a tiny pink cock. We didn't try to hide our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. Everyone says he will die soon. I hope they are right. He should not have lived this long. Jesus, man. Well, sooner or later, Cersei always gets what she wants. And what about what I want? Justice for my sister and her children. If you want justice, you've come to the wrong place. I disagree. I've come to the perfect place. What, you gonna fight for him? I want to bring those who have wronged me to justice, and all those who have wronged me are right here. He wants to, he wants to fight the mountain I anyway. will begin with Sir Gregor Clegane, who killed my sister's children, and then raped her with their blood still on his hands, before killing her too. <coughs> yeah, it didn't even occur to me he has been wanting the mountain anyway. So why not? I will be your champion. <laughs> wow. It's a messed up story he just told Tyrion about him being the baby.
Uh-huh. She's happy to see the snow again. She's making Hello, the Robin. Winterfell castle. What are you doing? I'm building my home, Winterfell. At least I think I am. I haven't been back there in a very long time. What did you leave? It's a long story. I stay here in Eerie. Mother says it's dangerous on the road and I have to keep myself safe because I'm the Lord of the Vale and the Lord of the Vale is a very important person. Yes, you certainly are. When will you go back? Probably never. My family doesn't live there anymore and someone burned it down. Oh. Does Winterfell have a moon door? No, I'm afraid not. It's not high up in the mountains, it's down on the ground. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> How do you make people fly? We don't. What do you do with all the bad people? And the scary people and the people you don't like? I never did anything with them at all. Girls didn't take part in that where I came from. Well, I'm the Lord of the Vale. When I grow up, I'll be able to fly anybody who bothers me. Or you. When we get married, you can tell me if you don't like somebody, and then we can bring them back here and whoosh! Right through the moon door. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Let's put a moon door in your Winterfell. All right. It can go in here, in this big Be tower. careful. You've ruined it. Now I'm going to have to rebuild the whole I thing. I didn't ruin it. You did. It was already ruined because it didn't have a moon door. I was fixing it. Locking things down isn't fixing them. It's ruining I them. I didn't ruin it. You're being stupid. I didn't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Robin, I'm sorry, I... Children. I hit him. <laughs> yes, I saw. You shouldn't have done that. No. His mother should have. <laughs> A long time ago. Consider it a step in the right direction. If he tells Aunt Lysa... Let me worry about Aunt Lysa. Trying to remember what everything looked like. I'll never see it again. A lot can happen between now and never. If you want to build a better home, first you must demolish the old one. Why did you really kill Joffrey? Tell me why. I loved your mother more than you could ever know. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? In a better world. It's a lie. One where love could overcome strength and duty. You might have been my child. But we don't live in that world. You're more beautiful than she ever was. Lord Baelish. Call me Peter. Wow, he's really going for it. Oh, 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 shit. Oh shit. Psychopath let free. But was is Baelish You want to see something? me out nicer? That's the question. Come I feel like something. he has a plan. I don't think he would have done that where he could be seen. Unless he wanted to be seen. <laughs> I think she's gonna Accidentally you know fall through is? the moon door. Can't lie, no. sir. Neither do I, precisely. Hundreds of feet. It's 
fascinating. That's more than hundreds. What happens to bodies when they hit the rocks from such a height? The impact breaks them right apart, like eggs dropped on the floor. Sometimes pieces remain intact. You'll find the head sitting on its own, every hair in place, blue eyes staring at nothing. I know what you did. I'm so sorry, Aunt Lysa. I never should have hit Robin, I know it. I promise it won't happen. Don't with me, you little whore. You kissed him. You kissed Peter. You didn't. You don't understand. I saw you. You can't lie to me because I saw it with my own eyes. He kissed me. I pulled a Liar! Whore! He is mine! My father, my husband, my sister, they all stood between us and now they're all dead. That's what happens to people who stand between Peter and me. Look! Down! Look down! Look down! Look down! Lisa, kill her. Let her go. You want her? This empty-headed child. Let her go. She's just like her mother. She'll never love you. I lied for you. I killed for you. Why did you bring her here? Why? I send her away. I swear on my life. I swear to all the gods. Let her go, Lysa. <laughs> oh, my sweet wife. She did. My sweet, <laughs> silly wife. <laughs> I have only loved one woman. Only one. My entire life. Your sister. going to become of Robin because he's still technically the Lord of the Vale, right? Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I thought at first sense it would be the one to kind of push her in defense of herself. And then once she entered the picture, I was like, all right, Bailey, she's going to kill her now. <laughs> I saw it coming. But, I mean, still good. turn of events there. Uh, Tyrion's got a new champion to defend him in his uh, trial by combat. This uh, Martell guy is going to defend him against the Mountain, who I didn't realize was the Mountain until I was editing the video, the last video. Like when Cersei approached him, I didn't know that was the Mountain. I did not recognize him. I think it's because he was wearing armor. The other, the other times I saw him, he was wearing armor. So, Cersei is going to be upset with uh, this Martell guy. I don't think Martell is a character that is going to be killed off. I mean, a lot of unexpected things have happened in this show, but I don't think that he'll be uh, killed off. I think he plays a major part in this story since he's been introduced. Lady Toth has uh, found a lead. Going to take her to the home of this Lysa lady who is now dead. Not that they could get in through the bloody gates because as Peter has uh, described to uh, sense uh, it is well guarded. So They'll have a hard time with that. And then Arya won't be there. 
Because the hound still has her, and they haven't made it up there yet. Not like the hound could get in there anyway either, or get a ransom for Arya because now Arya's aunt is dead. Hmm. Very, very entertaining, I must say. Hopefully the next episode will be the trial by combat because I'm eager to see that happen. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to watch it tonight because it's getting late. And I have some editing to do. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next episode.